Um, as you look over this dream, where would you say the dreamer's problem resides? What is his problem? Right? Get one sentence only. Okay, there's the challenge. Can you identify this problem and say six or seven words or less? And could you back it up, your thinking, with a sufficient number of quotes to see that you have a basis for identifying his problem? Okay, who would, like, who would like to start? Go ahead. Uh, how to get back home. Okay, next. See, that's not an answer. Okay. Um, say what you said again about a certain number of words. I'm sorry. Six words or less. No, that's true. No, say it oh. That's true. <laughs> so oh, okay. Say it in six words or less? No, choose six words out, I thought, from the dream. To explain the nature of the problem. <coughs> well, I'll offer for a moment I have the idea to talk to her. Just, wait a minute, just for the moment? It says here, for a moment. 
Oh, I, I thought, thought you were referring. Oh. I, you. <laughs> I kind of looked away for a moment. I had the idea to talk to him. That's true. You have a problem. I, but I don't see any other problem. Seems like he's following. Well, the only part that I just does not really seem to fit the rest is somehow I ended up in this control tower kind of place. Yeah, that too. That's really weird. I mean, in like uh, contrasting everything else in this dream, like there's no control. I don't see me controlled. Right. But it's. That's true. That just starts it off, and okay. I'm not okay. sure what to do with it, but uh. Sure. Want to add? Um, I haven't finished yet. Others. Okay. Why is that right? Can you read it for the vine in the back, please? Can you read that? I can't see, see that far away. Use six words or less to explain the nature of the problem of the dreamer. Answer. He does not know he knows. And as a consequence, he looks to excitement as an alternative. Yeah, I was thinking the only thing out of place, other than like what Eric and I were talking about, that he brought up is he never jumps. Okay. And the girl scene. Oh, see, the girl thing could be a subclass of this same problem. Yeah, like it's right. Way out of line. Like Regina offered that i that idea, that can be that that can still be here. Mm -hmm. Well, that is why didn't he act? Your character told them like yeah. four times. Right. So, hey, can you go back in the paper, in the dream, and put next to each sentence that can support number one as well as number two? In other words, is there evidence in the text, in his dream, that can support that conclusion? Okay, question. Well, why does he want, his goal is to jump. It's repeated. By the way, is there any need for him to jump in the dream? No. No. But even in the last paragraph, what? He's ready. He's, he's excited. No, it says get back home. And he says he's done it before. He's excited about it. Not letting myself get scared. Right? He's going to jump, it looks like. Come on, more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Even though plans lane, lane. 
So look here. If you are getting some insight into it, what does that mean? That means you should be able to go back in the dream and point out certain things in the dream that support that conclusion. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay? If that's true, all right, now how can you turn that and find a moment in the dream that you can open up in order to get the dreamer to explore that problem? All right? That's a second. Now, you have several possible choices and they're all of a similar kind. In the dream, does he reach the point in the dream, in the next to the last paragraph, but we're on solid ground? Would that be the kind of evidence you would need to support this? Therefore, there's no need to jump. The whole issue of being jump is a fixed issue's issue. Agree? So, the question would be, watch, this is very difficult to do. <laughs> All right? Hi. Hi. Yeah, what was that moment like? Yeah. What's your name? In the dream, I at thought that moment. When I was jumping, when I was no. touching the ground? Well, that's right. Exactly that moment in the dream. But we're on solid ground with an exclamation point. What was that like? Okay, what was that like? In the dream. It was really, it was quite fascinating. It was quite fascinating. Good, Because More? we More? were, because we are in the sky, but there is solid ground. And what, what? There is solid ground. Yeah, what was that like? Come on. In the dream, at that moment, I mean, what was it like? It was like very, like, safe and sturdy. Uh, it was... It was wondrous, very wondrous. Wondrous? Yeah. That you reach your goal without doing anything? Mm. No jump? That's true, but my, my goal was to get home for some reason. Yeah, but the way you're, we're talking about how you get home. <laughs> you're talking about a different kind of home. That's right. <laughs> I mean, that, there's no reason for me to leave that place. It's an amazing place. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, this is, hey, in other words. It's like the best place I've ever been, actually. <laughs> Look, see? That's where you are. Right? Yeah. It's kind of the place of my dreams, actually. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. mean that in a yeah. uh -huh. romantic way. The only way I'm in the third paragraph, I think actually the only way to get down from it, it was to jump. Right? That's the only, right? That's the only, see it? Only way. Be sure of it. Right? Just jump. Or, what was that like or, in the dream? Or, it was, it was kind of um, exciting. That's right. It was. Uh, there was a certain. There was a certain thrill to it. Right. 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 Yeah. And you're jumping or engaged. Right. But wait a minute. You're already home. Therefore, yeah. this attraction to go ahead finish it. Yeah. 
Are you excited to get home, or are you finding skydiving and jump, taking a jump is very exciting? Which of the two is more it's exciting? The, it's the jumping. Sure. The home doesn't right. doesn't excite me at all. Right. So. But. But it, you're following. I'm following the excitement. Yeah. Yeah. What do you make of that? Well. Wait a minute. That means. Keep this in mind. Okay. That means you. Right. Do not know, you know. What do you make of that? Yeah, that's very curious. I do not know, I know. <laughs> uh, I do not know, I know. But, but I don't know, obviously. But wait a minute, obviously you do know you're on the solid ground. <laughs> but I... Like, I, I realized in the dream that this was an amazing place. But at the same time, I really had this drive to leave, which is... Because you're caught up in an excitement. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, there's nothing better than excitement. It was one of my Uncle Louis' favorite sayings. <laughs> so. That was before they, you know, electrocuted him in San Quentin. <laughs> but he found that very exciting, yeah. so he was happy to go. That was very exciting. Yeah, he was smiling as they jammed, right? <coughs> yeah, that proves that there's nothing higher than excitement. Right, Barbara? Uh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> There's in the dream, is this idea of excitement taking over? Yes. What am I going to ask? You've been asking what that's, where, what that's like and where he might be. That's where we go. Wow. Right? Did you hear what she said? Yeah. Well, well what are you going to make of it? Well, what's that like? Where does it go? What's it do to you physically? Hey, here you are. Hey, it's fascinating. Safe. Right? It's an astronaut fee, right? It's safe. Right? Steady. Right? There's a wonder in us. It's fascinating. It's like ticklish a little bit. And ticklish. Like butterflies. Butterflies in my stomach. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 like skydiving. It's exa what? it's exactly like skydiving. It's that's where does it go? That's what it is. Same question. Like, look here. We can call that state uh, uh, e e x c, right? Excite. Right? Now, these are all the periods of time in your life. Yeah. Could you chart where that same experience occurred? Yeah. If someone were to ask you where among the many of similar experiences was it most severe or interesting or exciting, in other words, the highest? Yeah. How old? Uh, 29. Take it. <laughs> I mean, I went, I went skydiving. Huh? I went skydiving. Like, yeah. I actually went to yeah. jump out of an airplane. And that's the feeling I had before I jumped out of the plane. Okay. Take another one earlier. Um, oh, jumping from a, um, a jumping board in the swimming pool when I was mm, seven. 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 Right, okay, go ahead. And, um... Got a board? Yeah, it's three meters. I mean, uh, I don't know what you call that. Ten feet. Ten feet. And, um... There you are. Go ahead. Well, uh, I mean, I didn't, uh... I was, I, was, I was pretty scared. I was pretty scared to do it. Yeah. So and, what uh, happened? Uh, 
think I, I didn't jump that time. I don't quite have the specific scene, but That's okay. I know there was a time when sometimes I jumped, but this time I think I didn't jump. Uh, what response did you get from those around you? Do you have any details of that man? I just remember that I have a cousin who, who, who did jump, and he was like, I considered him to be brave, no. and uh, like, I was always amazed how he could do these things, no. and I couldn't. No, right. I mean. Um, No, that's true. There is. <laughs> yeah. Those, that halo doesn't really suit him. What? I, he's, he's, he's a weird character. Of course, that's why I'm trying to be weird. Look, watch. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Now, it's, now it's good. Now okay, it's good. Fine. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, I don't know what to say about it. He's just, um, uh, like, I, I wanted to be uh, brave like him. Like him? Yeah. 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 And jump off things. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> see, that's very good, see? then this becomes your ideal, right? But we don't know why you chose that quality for your ideal. So this is an example early in life when it's already in place, therefore there must have been something prior to that that taught him of the, of the, the significance or the depth or importance of that excitement state. So it has to Therefore, there has to be a prior state. Hmm. Say, uh, you ever see your father in that state? Ever? Mother? Anyone in your family? Hmm. Where they looked, where they appeared that way? As I do? Maybe I, I had another cousin, <laughs> Go ahead. and uh, I spent a lot of time with him when I was like three. I'll take it. Wait a minute, I'm good at drawing. And it was it was kind of it was the same thing. Uh, he was a little bit older than me, and I was always chasing him around and trying to keep up with his older seemingly brave things that he was doing. You know, he was a little bit taller, a little bit stronger, and all those things. Um, and he was in that same state. No, yeah. no, no, no. So, so you found someone like your ideal. That means the ideal must have been in place before that event. Mm. That's all. Mm. So, I mean, you said, yeah, it's nice, you know, but it's not going to help us. So therefore you have to ask another question, like, huh? Uh, have you ever talked about your mother? Mm. She, I mean, hmm? she went skydiving. Hmm? She went skydiving once. She was what? She went skydiving once as well. What do you make of that? 
I mean, it's it's. You got an early scene with her. Take any at all. Early one. Uh, any of your any of your call. It's good. Okay, the one I recall is um, her teaching me how to draw when I was maybe three or something. Good. I love that. Okay. All right. You're sitting on a table. Yeah, we're sitting at a. Hold it. At a at a kind of table. Good. And and what she's saying? We both we huh? we both have some pieces of paper and she's teaching me how to draw a house and a a fence and a tree and little basic drawings. How'd she look? Teaching you. How'd she look? She looked good. Mm -hmm. Very um, good. How can I more? Like on. very knowing and knowing. and playful. Playful. Um, kind of creative. Creative. Like. Yeah. She's letting you see herself at a very in a very noble way. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, you see, maybe you don't know enough about art, but, um, oh, hey, um, Fred, mm -hmm. um, uh, how do people learn to draw? I mean, isn't it true that everyone's mother takes them through? And with a pencil shows them how to do it? No. Ask the wrong person. <laughs> Jeff? I, well, I'm not a very good drawer, but my mother never showed me anything like that. <laughs> well, this is rather, hey, this is rather unique, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So what's going on? Something odd. Yes. Well, now, most, most, he, as far he, as I know, most moms, don't show kids how to draw anything. Right. They let the kids try to draw things and express themselves. Well, you have to add one more thing. What did she use? Good question. I A ruler. Was, he mentioned uh -oh. ruler. Uh, the worst. Uh, the worst, I tell you. No, I didn't. I mean, that's a real way to show kids how to draw. Just start out with ruler. Here, kid, things. draw this line. Yeah, yeah. No. I didn't. What, what? There was no ruler. No ruler? There was no ruler. Oh, well, how did she do it then? Um, just like freehand, drawing a house and a fence. I, I can see that you probably never saw a, a freehand drawing before that. That may be true. Yeah, yeah. Magical. Yeah, it seemed, it seemed quite magical. Sure, she's bringing into her existence a house? Yeah, a house and maybe a dog or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe there was a dog in there. Okay, good, yeah. good. She made it very playful. Yeah. Um, by the way, did you learn from that how to draw a house? Um, I yeah. mean, how can you be learning if she's doing it? I think I was, I think I was doing it as well. Um, I think it was kind of like a thing we were doing together. Like I would. You can't do it together. I was doing like a line, and then she would add something or. Oh, she wouldn't let you do it alone. Uh, What's going on? I need to know. I think she was doing most of the drawing. Oh, and that's how you can learn to draw. Well, let me check. Uh, well, no. No, again? <laughs> no, I don't think that's that's the best way. No. Wait a minute. We're wondering if it's any way at all to get the kid to draw. Well, I mean, oh, but I... rather, it's rather exciting being around her at this moment. Look at the way she appears. Creative, playful, 
right? Now I'm good. Uh, were you attracted to uh, the excitement she's showing or what you're learning? It was a, 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 a di very different way of being than she normally was. Uh, that's, why, that's why it's so important. Yeah. Actually, I talked to her recently and she said that she did that because she was trying to get me away from dangerous activities. Oh. She was trying to keep me... Oh, actually, you, you mean you were doing something you wanted to do? <laughs> they were actually always trying to prevent me from playing with that cousin. Then what's really going on when she's so-called trying to teach you something? I think she was... Looks like there's a swap going on. Looks like one thing and then something else is happening. Yeah, she, I think she was trying to keep me, just keep me indoors. Yeah, by making the uh, drama exciting. Rather clever, what do you think? Exciting. Hmm. Yeah, I just wondered, what do you think? I'm just wondering if it if it was exciting, if I would put that word on it. Well, exciting. how is it to be around someone like this? What effect does it have on you? I mean, it was... I, I have the right answer, by the way, if you ask me. What is it? Boring. No, it wasn't boring. Ah. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't exciting like jumping out of a... Well, I just need to know what just, it was like. I don't was care. Like, I mean, I, it, was, it, was, it was quite intimate. Oh, it was more, intimate. but that's not exciting. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> intimate does seem a little different than exciting. Oh. oh. Maybe a lot different. Do you hear what these people are saying? Yeah. It doesn't come from me. With your mother. Yes. <laughs> it was definitely fun. It was definitely fun. And what's she really doing during this to keep you from something? Something which yeah. I think is fun. Oh. Which they think is dangerous. Yeah. It'd be nice if they were honest, wouldn't it? Rather than... Is this a trick? Yeah, this is a trick. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Hmm. So, did you not say that when you were in that state, is this state here with your mother wondrous? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And, and yet safe being with her? Yeah, very safe. Oh, oh, oh. And steady? Mm, yeah. Well, hey, you know what? These are the qualities we picked up over here, they're now here. What's going on, do you think? Yeah, it's, it's, I, I think it's the same state. Hmm. Looks like, uh, now can you try this? Just you want to keep you from knowing what you know? Are you offering you something else? Knowing what I know. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, it, it fits. Hmm? It does. It does kind of fit. Knowing what it, keep me from knowing what I know. Yeah. I mean, I know that it will be fun to be outside with my cousin, yeah. and she's keeping me from that. So yeah. yeah. And trying to get you not to think of it. But this is a substitute, isn't it? Yeah. It's mm. it's a it's a distraction. It's yeah. Fun. Yeah. Rather clever, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of a shallow substitute. That, yeah, yeah. It's kind of yeah. very bitter. It leaves a bitter taste in my mm. mouth. I hope this doesn't do anything to your desire to get into it. Excitement. Well... Well, I mean, she put it off. She at least put it off for a while. 
And then, um, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I still wanted to, mm -hmm. I still wanted to do the exciting things, but not at that moment. She was distracting me at that moment. But the dream is saying that you know there's no need to jump since you're already there. The dream is saying you're out of the problem, but you don't know it. And we're testing that. Uh, out of which problem? I don't, I don't, I don't well, follow. Doesn't she want you to forget that this is it? She's offering a substitute and to pull you away from what you find more personally meaningful or involved? Do you have to then forget what she's doing? Yeah, and, it's a substitute. And what you're doing? Well, Yes. Well, that looks like um, And so, so, so how does that fit with the dream? I don't, I don't see that. Well, is it not true that the way you described that state, that excitement, has these qualities in it? Are we not finding that these qualities took place equally well at home in this early three-year-old scene? Yeah. Hmm. Isn't, isn't she being playful and intimate? Yeah. Therefore, what's the name for such people doing that? Right? Pull, pull that pretense in order to have an intimate experience? It's a kind of seduction. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's a good word for it. <laughs> and does that mean the person who is being has to make believe they don't know what's going on? Yeah. Hmm. So there's something in you that knows, and you have to be willing to say you don't know what you know. And then the seduction takes place. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Hey, what would have happened at that very moment if you saw, if you said, "Hey, mom, uh, finish it." Um, I, I, I don't want to be doing this. I want to be doing something else. Mm. And you're, you're, you're just trying to distract me from what I really want to do. Yeah. Therefore, what name are you going to call her? Then what is she? She's like a, one of those snakes. Yeah, well, yeah. okay. Out of, right. the, out okay. of the basket. Look, look. With my art. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. Mm. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm yeah. kind of hypno hypnotized. hypnotized. <laughs> That's the snake. Curious, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Um, when, see, this is global. This is a, a dream that's showing broadly and bold strokes what your problem is. That's a rather good dream. But I don't, I don't quite see it. Like, not, not knowing what I know. Well, at that moment, do you know she's pulling a stunt? Yeah, I. Do you, I, have, to, do you have to make make believe you don't know? Yes, I see it in there. I just don't see it in the. Dream. Wait, I can't, I do actually. Well, no, no, that's because we went into your personal world to find this. It's not in the dream. What's in the dream is this. Yeah, in the dream, I, I know that I love that place that I'm in. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm ignoring that and trying to jump. Right, when there's no need to since you're already on the ground. And it's I'm in a good place. Right? Which is even makes it even more fun. <laughs> that's that's confusing. Good. Thank you.
just came from Moscow. <laughs> he spent some time in Siberia. Uh, now he's going to share a dream he had with the shaman. Cool. <laughs> I had this dream last night. Okay, everybody. Go ahead. Get the microphone a little closer to you. I was, <clears throat> I was at this store in New York City, um, and uh, I know the owner, and so um, I don't like <laughs> the guy who owns the store, so I'm trying to hide in the store behind these garments, and it was more like a thrift store than what it actually is in real life, which is like a really nice store. That's the first dream. The second dream was I was in New York again at Jeffrey's fashion show. I was in the back row and he was going through the music and it was going to be good. That's the second dream. That's it? Mm -hmm. Good. Got enough? Mm. Okay, got enough. What would you put? Come on, what would you pose? Take one at a time. Would you agree you'd want to know what state of mind he is in in that first dream, right? When he's in fear of this owner and he wants to hide behind some garment, mm -hmm. right? We'd want to know what's that like, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to be seen. Um... Um, what's that like? I really don't want to be seen. I really? Yeah, I really don't like him, and I really don't even... Um, Either. Yeah. Thank you. And then also it's like thrift store-like. Yeah. Which, means which is weird. Come on. I, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like where the good is like this is supposed to be some highly successful contemporary place and it looks like a thrift store therefore it looks fraudulent yeah right right good. yeah good. Good. therefore what here fraudulent. fraudulent looks fraudulent it's a fraud fraudulent gotcha okay second dream what would you ask What's it like for him to be in the back row? Hmm. True. Right. Similar. Hmm. What's the difference? See, the have, difference. When you have a dream that has parallel, you want to know why it was needed. Okay. Well, I uh, a difference is is like it's really nice. It's like a it's. Uh, very nice venue. I like Jeffrey. Um, I love Jeffrey, actually. He's great. Um, um, what's it like? I'm in the back row, and he's presenting what he's going to do. Up, up front? Yeah. What's it like liking the guy on your way in the back? Yeah, it's a type of hiding as well. What's the difference? They're both hiding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, you're not hiding, you're not covering yourself up with a garment. 
-hmm. You're in a remote place, right? Special. Yeah, you're in the back, right, right, right. Well, I mean, like, the venue's special. Yeah. When you're in the back row. Yeah. What's it like? There's your friend who's up front. I go at this great place, and I'm just kind of... Okay, in the dream, is there any sense that he could have invited you up front? What is there, at that moment, what's your relationship between you and your friend? He's doing something, and I'm not. That's true, but you're not answering my question. Sorry, okay. What, what's the relationship like? Yeah, what, what do you think of the fact that here's a guy you like, and he likes you, and you're sitting in the back row? Oh, right, I'm totally withdrawn. Yeah, yeah. withdrawn. Come on. Yeah. Why? Come on. What's it like? See? They're like. Similar. Mm -hmm. in, What's it in, like? Inactive. Right? I'm not engaged at all. Rather? Yeah, hiding. Like. Or just, not even hiding, just removed. That's right. What would it be like to be in the first row? Well, then it's cooking, you know, like, and there's, it's active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you're going to contrast this state and this one, right? Okay. So we, and both, see, they're dealing with similar experiences. Agree? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. okay. Similar experiences. Yes, of hiding? Yeah. Kind of what we're calling hiding? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which uh, do you choose to explore? Same one, but go ahead. Uh, See, there are different ways of hiding. <laughs> That's weird. Hmm. I, it doesn't matter. I'm... Doesn't, doesn't matter. One, try, try, take that one. Go ahead. Okay, that one. You're in the back row. Yeah. Right? Not engaged, hiding, removed. Yeah. At that time, what do you think of your friend? Well, he's going. Right? He's, he's charging. For, he's doing the exact opposite of what I'm doing. He's fully engaged. This is what I'm going to do here. <laughs> yeah. No. And you can't do that because you're hiding. No. Right. Well, in that particular scene. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, why can't you be like that guy? Because why? Because I'm, uh, yeah, prefer not to be engaged, hiding, and removed. Yeah. What's that costing you? Um. Where has that state cost you in your life? Oh yesterday, God. the day of the dream. Should you have put? Uh, have you ever, uh, they have, uh, it's a very famous place for shoes at uh, South Coast Plaza, and they have a device that lets you know which foot you should put forward first. <laughs> oh. Yeah, very expensive machine. I sold it to them. <laughs> Go ahead. Where does that come from? Oh, where does that come from? Yeah. I, I have it. It's costing you, isn't it? Oh, yeah, my whole life, yeah. That's all. Apart from that, it's perfectly okay. <laughs> where does it come from? Yeah, that, that would have to be private. Or something. Okay. Yeah. So sometime you want to look at the what came prior, right? Mm -hmm. You can make a choice of that. Mm -hmm. We'll do it whenever you want. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Cool. Mm -hmm. Good, Bradley. Yeah.